Rage Followed Rage, and this is going to be part one. In Esther chapter three, verses one to two, it says, after these events, King Xerxes honored Haman, son of Hamadatha, the Agagite, elevating him and giving him a seat of honor higher than all of the other nobles. All the royal officials at the king's gate knelt down and paid honor to Haman, for the king had commanded this concerning him. But Mordecai would not kneel down or pay him honor. In uh, verses five to six, it says, when Haman saw that Mordecai would not kneel down or pay him honor, he was enraged. Yet having learned who Mordecai's people were, he scorned the idea of killing only Mordecai. Instead, Haman looked for a way to destroy all Mordecai's people, the Jews, throughout the whole kingdom of Xerxes. So just to give a little bit of background about this story, Esther is the queen of Xerxes and Esther is a Jew. Verses five and six uh, talk about how Haman was enraged because one man did not kneel down and honor him. So he set out to kill all of the Jews, not just Mordecai, but all of them. Something is wrong with us if we allow one person to steal our joy. Haman was honored by the most powerful person in that area, but that was not enough for him. He was enraged by one person who had no power nor authority. Something to think about is not everyone will see our value and I don't believe that everyone was meant to. So we shouldn't keep taking things so personal. My encouraging scripture is going to be in John chapter 10, verse 10. Jesus says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full.